In this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how you can send crypto assets from one network and into another network using a crypto bridge through MetaMask. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto bridge, even if it's through MetaMask. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. You'll find the bridge option inside the expanded version of MetaMask right here, or you can come up here to the MetaMask icon, give it a click, and you'll see the bridge option right here. So just go ahead and give that a click. And this will bring you over to the bridge option inside your MetaMask portfolio. From here, you can choose the network that you wish to bridge out of by clicking right here and selecting it from this drop down menu. For this demonstration, I'll select the BNB chain. Next, we can choose the network that we wish to bridge the tokens into by giving this a click, then select it from this drop down menu. I'll just go ahead and start out by selecting Ethereum. Now I can choose the token that I wish to bridge from the Binance chain and into the Ethereum network by clicking right here. Then simply select it from this drop down menu or you can search for it in the search bar right here. I'll go ahead and select Tether. Now you can type in the amount of the token that you wish to bridge. And right over here, you can select the token that you wish to receive. And you can choose another token if you wish, as long as it's compatible with the network that you're bridging into. But for this demonstration, I'll just leave it set to USDT. So I'll click right here and I'll go ahead and select Tether. Once you fill all of this in, MetaMask is going to begin to look for a bridge. MetaMask is a bridge aggregator. So it's going to scan multiple different bridges and it'll present you with the best option at the time that you're looking to do this. Now, as you can see right here, MetaMask is suggesting the Stargate bridge. You'll notice right here that there's a link that says choose a different quote. So you can always click on that to explore the other quotes. If you want to learn more about the fees, you can just go ahead and click on the bridge that MetaMask is suggesting, and you'll be able to see the fees associated with this right down here. And in my particular situation, you can see that there's going to be a gas fee here of about 31 cents of BNB. &B. But you'll notice that there's also a relayer fee right here that's about $45 of BNB. &B. And that's because I have this set up to bridge from Binance Chain and into Ethereum. And when the Ethereum network becomes congested, the gas fees can be very, very high. It's not always like this, but as the market moves into more bullish conditions, the gas fees are becoming quite high. And that's why it can be beneficial to use other networks, or you can use a layer two on Ethereum, such as Arbitrum. For example, if I was to come back up here, click where it says Ethereum, I can select Arbitrum in this drop down menu. If you don't see the Arbitrum network, that means you'll need to add it to MetaMask first. If you don't know how to add networks and different tokens to MetaMask, I do have a MetaMask step-by-step -step beginners tutorial where I show you how to get that done. And I will leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone who might find that helpful. Now I'll go ahead and select the token right here and I'll go ahead and just select Tether. Now MetaMask is going to be looking for a bridge that I can use for this transaction. And MetaMask has come back and it's suggesting the Connects bridge. And as you can see, the gas fee is now only 91 cents. So if we go ahead and give this a click, we can look over the fees down below here. And now we can see that the estimated gas fee in BNB is going to be 43 cents. The relayer fee is only going to be 48 cents. And right down here, you can see that MetaMask is going to charge a fee as well, but that's only 10 cents for this particular transaction. And remember, the gas fee is paid out of the native token of the network that you're using. So in my case here, I am bridging from the BNB network, so I would need some BNB token in my MetaMask wallet to pay for the gas fees. If I was bridging out of the Ethereum network, I would need some Ethereum in my MetaMask wallet to cover the gas fee. So whatever network that you're using, just make sure to have some of the network's native token in your wallet to cover gas fees. The fee that MetaMask is collecting is paid out of the token that you're looking to bridge. So in my case here, that would be 10 cents of USDT. MetaMask does charge a small percentage as a fee for aggregating the bridges for you. But what you can do is you can go directly to the bridge itself if you wish. Now, as you can see, MetaMask is telling us what bridge it fetched for us. So in this particular situation, I probably wouldn't bother because it's just a 10 cent fee. But if you're bridging a large amount of tokens, perhaps the fee is higher. So what you can do is just go straight to the connects bridge. And from here, if I wish, I can connect my wallet directly to this bridge. I can select the network that I'm bridging out of just like so. I can choose the network that I'm sending into, which would be Arbitrum. Then I can choose the token that I wish to send like so. And then the token I wish to receive. And if my wallet was connected, 
I could proceed to use the bridge directly and I wouldn't have to pay the MetaMask fee. But just make sure if you're going to do this, that you trust the bridge that you're going to be using. Make sure that you can verify that the bridge is safe to use and that you're on the official website of that bridge. Remember, you don't want to connect your MetaMask wallet to any potentially malicious websites. Otherwise, that can result in a serious security breach. So it doesn't hurt just to do a bit of research, make sure that you trust the bridge before proceeding with this. For this particular demonstration, I'm not going to bother because I'm only up against a 10 cent fee. So I'm going to go ahead and bring MetaMask back into frame like so. And now that I have this all set up, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click right here where it says switch to BNB chain. Then I'm going to come up over here, click on switch network. Now I'm going to go ahead and approve the token like so. I'm going to come up here to the wallet and confirm this by clicking on approve. Now the token's being approved and the transaction is submitted. Now I'm ready to complete this. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here on confirm. I'm going to come back up here to MetaMask and click on confirm. And you can see right here that bridging is now complete. So if I come back up here to my MetaMask icon and give it a click, I'll go ahead and switch the network by clicking right here and selecting Arbitrum 1. And you can see the tether right here. And there you have it. That's how you can bridge assets from one network and into another network. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my other MetaMask tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.